Hello everyone and welcome back, hope we are well. So here we go, I finally got my Iris Big Crown point of date back this week. Now if you remember from a few weeks ago, I made a quick video about this particular watch when it arrived faulty from the retailer. So I had to send the watch back and this is the replacement uh, of the watch that I received in the first instance. I'm so glad they sent me a replacement and not fixed the one uh, that I received faulty. Now before we start with the video, if you like my channel and like my reviews, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and the like button if you enjoyed today's video and the other content on my channel for that matter. Uh, quickly about the strap, this is the original leather strap that came with this watch. Uh, nothing wrong with the strap at all, I really like the quality of this strap as well but I just wanted to keep this in a mint condition so I decided to take it off and it was so easy to take it off with this uh, quick release option. On these straps are really thoughtful uh, from Oris. Uh, this is the price, it's 2,500. Uh, this is in Australian dollars. If you're in the US, then you're looking at uh, 1,750 uh, dollars, which is a retail price in the US. Getting back to the watch that we have with us, I really, really like this um, deep, uh, rich red or burgundy color on this um, on this dial. I really dig the color. We'll talk about the dial shortly, but I'll quickly uh, touch on the uh, dimensions. So the case measures at 40 millimeters across. The lug to lug length is 47.9 millimeters. The uh, case thickness uh, was around 11.9 millimeters, and that is including that dome shaped uh, sapphire crystal on the top that adds a fair bit to the uh, thickness as well. The lug width on this one is 20 millimeters, so plenty of strap options out there with that lug width uh, and you can see I've changed it to this uh, brown kind of retro looking leather strap so it adds further to the uh, the retro appearance that this watch is uh, uh, trying to achieve from Oris. Um, the case is made out of stainless steel we have polished uh, finish on the sides of the case and between the lugs and then we have brushed finish on the top of the lugs uh, with this coin edge bezel that kind of sort of uh, hides away behind the lugs a little bit and then opens up again around the side of the case really nicely done uh, the polishing is really nice and um, it is expected the uh, the quality of um, of the finish on this watch is absolutely fantastic for Morris we have a signed crown um, a big crown at three o'clock and looking at the dial uh, again I absolutely love this dial it has to be the best asset of this watch, uh, the color and the way this dial has been put together. So this uh, burgundy dial is supported by the, um, or accompanied by these um, Arabic hour markers. Then we have the railway minute track that runs between the hour markers and the date function, or the date complication as you can see on the outer ring. We've got full 31 dates there. And we have Oris printed on the dial just underneath 12 o'clock, big crown automatic just above 6 o'clock. And you see those little triangles on the um, railway minute track, um, seen right next to the, uh, the hour markers. Those have uh, loom on them as well. So we've got luminous hands, these uh, cathedral style hands. Then we've got loom on the uh, markers as well, the hour markers. Then we have loom on those little triangles as well. And you can see there are four hands on this uh, watch. So three are conventional, your your uh, hour, minute, and the seconds hand. And the fourth hand is the date hand and the uh, or the point of date complication. This watch is a great alternative for people who don't like uh, date windows on the on their watches. If if they, if you like your um, your dial to be clean with uninterrupted with no date windows, a great alternative. Uh, with this uh, point of date complication. There are not a lot of uh, watchmakers out there offering this uh, point of date complication, but Oris have been doing this since 1938, so for a long, long time now. I can't think of one. If you know any other watchmaker offering this complication or something similar to this, please leave a comment um, and let me uh, let me know. So that's the uh, that's the dial for you. Absolutely, again, I absolutely love the uh, this uh, burgundy uh, color on um, on this dial. There, there's so many colors to choose from though. This is not the only color. Oris offers this uh, uh, watch in, in a variety of colors. You can have um, even a different casing as well. There's a bronze, bronze uh, case option uh, too that you can choose from. So as far as the colors or the options are concerned, the variety is there uh, from Oris. So um, yeah, you can definitely choose uh, other uh, colors as well. 
Um, so this so this is the uh, the burgundy that I chose to uh, uh, go for. Now I said earlier there is a loom on the hands and the markers as well. Let's do a really um, real quick loom check as well. The um, the quality of the loom is is good. It's um, really strong on the uh, on the hands as you can see. It's much richer on the uh, hands than on the markers and those triangles. The triangles have a a, a bit more uh, strength. Uh, to the loom than the uh, markers, uh, but the hands definitely stand out with the uh, with the loom. And for a watch like this, you can you can easily sort of accept uh, the loom quality like this. So um, and it's Oris's loom as well, so you can trust the quality too. So that's the uh, that's the loom on this watch. Let me just turn the lights back on again so we can uh, look at the rest of the watch. Um, now, the water resistance on this watch is 50 meters. That might, um, you know, that might put some people off. But we do get a, a screw down crown on this watch, so that adds further to giving you that peace of mind. Um, the crown at three o'clock is a screw down crown, as I said. So you can unscrew it. When you unscrew it, that's where you can hand wind the watch. And when you pull it out to position one, that's where you can set or change the date. As you can see, that little red tip on the uh, on the date hand is moving. And when you pull the crown out to its final position, that's where you can set or change the time on this watch. So that's how you set the date, time, and hand wind the watch as well. Once you're done with those things, you can just secure the crown back into its original position. So. There we go. And we do get an open case back. So there's an exhibition case back on this watch and you can see some information on this stainless steel casing as well. It talks about the sapphire crystal, the water resistance and the stainless steel, um, which is the material we used for the case. Talking about the movement, we have Salidas SW200 automatic movement in this watch. Really reliable movement um, has been widely used and um, I think Oris have been talking about bringing out their own uh, movement as well but for now they're sticking with uh, uh, Stelita movement. Uh, 28,800 beats per hour, offers 38 hours of power reserve, 26 joules and does offer hacking and hand winding as well. And you can see that a red color on the rotor as well so synonymous with uh, Oris uh, watches. Yeah, the movement is really, really uh, reliable. Nothing, uh, nothing concerning there at all. So uh, a final look on the um, on this dial. I absolutely love uh, this dial. It's yeah, it's something different. Um, at, le at least for my collection, I don't have anything like this. And this is my first uh, Oris watch that I'm going to keep in my collection. I've had Oris watches in the past as well, but. Uh, I, um, I sold them off, uh, so I've got none at the moment. Let me just give you a quick wrist shot as well. So I've got a, uh, a seven inch wrist, and uh, this watch does wear true to its uh, 40 millimeters uh, case size. So here we go. So this is how it looks on my seven inch wrist. It sits fairly flat, so no bump on the case back. And yeah, it does look really, really nice. and. In my opinion, this uh, brown leather strap adds further to the uh, the retro uh, look that this watch is trying to achieve. So uh, really, um, I really like this uh, strap as well. And as I said, 20 millimeter lug width. There's so many strap options out there. You can have this watch uh, factory fit with a, um, a stainless steel bracelet as well. But I think uh, this watch looks uh, the best with um, with the uh, with the leather strap. So um, I decided to go for this um, brown kind of retro uh, looking strap. So uh, give you the final look on my wrist. Thank you very much for watching. This concludes our review of this Oris. I'll see you with my next video shortly. Until then, stay safe and look after one another. Thank you.